Good day, CCF family. I'm here with Pastor Ricky Sartu, and this is another edition of CCF Sunday Fast Track. At the beginning of your message, you talked about how Paul was narrating great things that God has done in his life as he was reaching out to the Gentiles. What is your advice to the people who are hesitant in sharing their transformed lives to other people because they fear judgment or they fear rejection from other people? Uh, first of all, I want you to know you're not alone in that uh, fear or that apprehension. We all get that, I get that as well. So you're in good company. However, a couple of the things that help me, which might help you, is I think of this principle that one of the greatest costs of the Christian life is opportunity cost. Missing out on what we could have done for Jesus and what we could have been a part of. And you just think about all of these transformed lives, including our own that we're aware of, and if we are hesitant to share about that or the gospel with someone else, we miss out on the golden opportunity of being God's instruments, being part of that person's transformation. Not to uh, forget when a person does come to Christ by faith, there's rejoicing in heaven. So I don't want to miss out on that one either. You mentioned about Paul's explanation in 1 Corinthians 9, 19 to 20, where he basically said on essentials, he would stand for the truth, but for the non-essentials, he's kind of flexible. What practical tips can you reinforce to our viewers on how not to be stumbling blocks to others, wherein sometimes we could be misrepresenting Christ in our spheres of influence? I would say, first of all, we check our motive. Again, it goes back to what Paul said, the love of Christ compels me. So it should not be just about making an impression or looking good for people, uh, in front of people. The second thing is, we need to live the Spirit-filled life because it can't be on our own power. And it's only by the Spirit that we can live what the Apostle Peter described as living excellent lives in the company of non-believers. But in the end, we just do our best. And sometimes even if we do our best by the power of the Spirit, some people are still not happy. So we also need to remember what is our responsibility and what is not. If people are still not drawn to Jesus or they still reject our let's just say, best Christian behavior. Don't knock yourself out about that. Just pray to God, pour your heart out, and just keep doing your best. And lastly, Pastor Ricky, what would be the greatest truth that you can share to our listeners today, to our watchers who might have chanced upon this video as they were browsing on Facebook? The greatest truth that matters is not an idea. It is a person. Because Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. But Personally, the most meaningful verse in the Bible when it comes to this truth for me is what Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 2 when he said, It is by grace through faith that you are saved, and this not of yourselves, it is the gift of God and not by works so that no one can boast. Because there we understand why Jesus is the essential truth. That verse tells us how we are not saved, why we are not saved by works, and that we're saved only by faith in Jesus alone. And there you have it, Pastor Ricky, for another edition of CCF Sunday Fast Track. For more videos like this and to learn more about our series Truth Matters, visit the CCF main YouTube.